How's it going guys? Jake with the Click Tool Academy here. Um, you very possibly are going down a completely terrible, awful career path. Let me explain. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care what the industry you're in is. At the end of the day, the current predictions say that in the next 50 to 80 years, 90, 95% of current jobs will be replaced by AI and robots. They'll be automated. Everything we have right now, bookkeeping, uh, bricklaying, even law, even doctors will be replaced. 80 years from now, the entire medical profession will look vastly different from what it is today. So how do you prepare for this? How do you plan for this? If everything, if doctors, the most detailed, the most educated, the most focused career is going to be replaced by a robot in 80 years. I mean, and of course, 80 years, right? 80 years is a long time. People aren't really worried about their careers 80 years down the line from now. But understand, that's 80 years to total replacement, which means 40 years to almost completely be replaced. 10 years to losing a huge chunk of your salary because a lot of the value you're bringing, a lot of the specific and detail-oriented knowledge you're bringing to the table can be looked up in seconds and, and patients can be diagnosed rapidly and efficiently by a machine. That's what we're looking at in the next few years. And the real question right now for those who plan on working during the next 10 years, next 20 years, who are, look, who are looking for future-proofing longevity in their careers is what do I need to do? What is the key to maintain, not necessarily just to maintain, but to maintain the current success I'm having, to maintain the current job security I'm having and make sure that it can, I continue to develop and grow as I progress? Because sure, you might be currently on track to become you know, uh, uh, you might be doing doing law clerk clerical work right now for a law firm on track, and know that in 15 years you, you'll be a for 20 years you'll be a partner at the law firm if you if you follow everything step by step. But if in 20 years being at a law firm pays a third of what it pays now, are you really future proofing yourself? Are you really progressing? Because you're losing a ton of value, right? If you're right now planning to go to med school and take out half a million dollars in loans, and it, it, towards the end of your career, you're going to be making a fraction of what you're currently making because a lot of the value you were bringing to the table and diagnosing things and a variety of, of uh, specialties has now been replaced by automation. Are you future-proofing? Are you really progressing? Are you really setting up a quality, financially secure life for yourself? Um, the answer is no, you're not because the key distinction, the key quality you need to be always cultivating, always creating in the world of today is you need to be focused not on specifically developing the technical skills, the technical know-how, but placing yourself into a position where as the economy changes, as the job market changes into one where the majority of the technical day-to-day -day tasks are automated, where everything from pulling up a, uh, a book list at a library to diagnosing uh, a tumors, if a tumor is benign or cancerous, will, will be done in an automated AI system. The, the key thing is to, under, is to place yourself in a position where you're not just going to be a component, a cog in the machine, but you are gonna be the one who's placing the gears in. You're gonna be in charge. You're gonna be the owner of the business. You're gonna be the owner of an independent practice. You're gonna be the contractor who's not just doing the work, but who's putting the pieces together and assembling things. You're, you, you need to place yourself in a position of leadership. You need to place yourself in a position of self-employment on some level, you know, whatever it is, it could be today, it could be ten year, setting yourself up to be self-employed 10 years from now. And what goes into that is having a career, is having a career opportunity set up 10 years from now so that it's not just okay you know I'm gonna become a doctor I'm gonna work really hard I'm gonna be a doctor and then there's gonna be a company out there that will hire me and that will pay me and that will um, make sure that I'm secure and safe and stable long into my golden years no it doesn't work that way anymore companies aren't like that anymore 
You need to figure out a job where, okay, I'm gonna go work my butt off, um, become a doctor, practice, practice, and practice, but I understand that eventually I'm going to need to set up my own AI medical practice once the uh, artificial intelligence gets to that level, and I'm going to need to restructure the way I practice medicine as not so much someone who's actually in there diagnosing, not so much someone who's maybe even practicing the surgery, but someone who is dealing with patient relations, who's dealing with uh, finding clients for your service, who's dealing with bringing together the pieces and then allowing the various softwares and machines you have at that point in time, 20, 30 years from now, to do all that legwork and putting yourself in a position where you can fill that role, because that is gonna be the role. That is gonna be where the jobs are. Jobs are not gonna be in the legwork. They're gonna be the brain. They're gonna be at the top. And if you can't see your current career path taking you to that location, if you're not currently growing and developing skills of independent working, of self-employment, of developing a personal brand and a personal business and a personal um, network, you, you're not gonna succeed. And that's why something like affiliate marketing, right? Think about what affiliate marketing is. In 20 years, 90% of the industry is gonna be automated, right? But the thing about affiliate marketing is the way it works now is it's entirely entrepreneurial. It's entirely self-starter. The way that you do affiliate marketing is you enter the industry as an individual. You enter the industry as someone who's separate from large corporations. You're not just turning one wheel, one cog in the machine. You are putting the pieces together. You're going out there. You're doing what needs to be done to succeed. And in doing that, you're future-proofing yourself. Because even though 95% of the, t this, the technology, the software, everything is gonna be, it, it, look at it now. I mean, it's all completely automated at this point. You just need to, you need to be the person who takes, you know, Facebook ads as an employee of yours. Facebook ads is working its butt off to spread your, your uh, marketing campaign to thousands of people. So you are the one who's delegating that task to Facebook ads as your employee, the artificial intelligence that's your employee, in the same way that you're delegating your task, soon there's gonna be software that's gonna create landing pages for you, or that's gonna build offers, for, that's gonna um, track down the, the, the most optimized and efficient offers for you. And you are still gonna have a role in the, the direction of your business as a whole you are gonna make the big big shot calls because this is your business. Even though these softwares are doing the legwork for you, you are the one who is calling the entrepreneurial shots. You're the one who's, who's managing, delegating, and creatively thinking outside of the box about where to move next. And having those skills and developing a career where you will be able to implement those skills in the world of tomorrow is essential right now to make sure that you are not just setting yourself up for failure because if you're right if you have a 10 20 30 year plan mapped out if you're just grinding away right now spending money on school doing whatever you're doing and you don't have that plan set up if you're not ready for that level of autom automation that's going to come in mid mid to late career for for anyone in the, in the workforce who's going to be working for the next 10 to 15 years at least um you are you're going to miss out you're going to you're going to fall behind and you're going to get uh you're going to get competed out of the market, you know? The competition is just gonna be too too much for you to handle. You won't be able to, to keep up with those who are preparing, who are planning, who are mapping out for the future of the job market, for the future of the economy, for the future of the world. Um, so yeah, so just think about that. I want you to, who, who, whatever you're doing, wherever you are in terms of your career, in terms of your education, whatever point you are in your life right now, think about not just, am I, you know, not just am I making smart financial systems decisions in a traditional sense, but am I making smart financial system decisions? <laughs> am I making smart financial decisions in a sense that relates to the, the rapidly changing world and the way that technology is going to come to implement and is, is going to be implemented and completely change the way that we interact with each other in every way imaginable? So just two cents. Just thought I'd share that with you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.